In this video we're going to look at how to generate a username based on the first name, the last name and the next sequentially highest number. In the last tutorial we created a query when run gives you the biggest number plus one. In the database at the moment if we look at the records you can see there's four records and the highest sequential number is this one here BS879. On the query, you can see it says 880 because that's the next biggest number. And the previous tool showed you how to make that. In this tool, we're going to be looking at how to generate it and how to actually pull that value from the query and put it onto the form. I have in True Blue Peter Storm created one beforehand. And what I'm going to do is show you how I create it underneath. So I'm going to create this same thing underneath and show the exact steps. The first thing you need to do is create a new text box. So clicking on design you can choose a text box tool. Now the text box tool is different from the label tool which is the one next to it. If you hover over it and let the tool tip come up you'll see text box. So I'm going to click on text box now and I'm going to draw a box out. Initially when you do it it will say unbound and it will come up with some random text. Now I'm going to put the a better name here, generate a username, and then I'm also going to move this around by using the larger handle there. Now, unbound in database terms means it's not going to save into the database, nor will it actually do any calculations. What we want the generate username to do is to do a calculation, and to do this, we simply click on it. And before we do the calculation, we must name it. So I'm going to click on other, and I'm going to call this new gen user. You can call it whatever you want to, but you must always name every box. Now that's named, I'm going to click on data, and I'm going to go to control source, and rather than selecting an item from the drop down list, which will save into the database, I'm going to click on the triple dots, and I'm going to enter the function. Now, this is made up of three parts. The first part is left. Notice when I start typing the commands, it actually gives me a tooltip. And you can click on the tooltip, double click, sorry, to actually bring it up. So, left will find the um, leftmost characters of a field, and you can get as many of them, uh, many of those characters as you want to. So, I want to get the first name initially, so I double click on first name. And because I only want one letter from it, I put comma 1. I then want to get the first letter from the last name. So I put an ampersand to join these two things together. And I do left again. This time for last name, comma 1. Now, the last step is to get that sequentially higher number. Now, actually, most of the hard work has been done already because I uh, produced the query. And all I need to do is pull that value out of the query. To pull a value out of a query when it's only a single value, I can use something called DLOOKUP. So I'm going to start typing that in. As you can see, the tooltip comes up, so I can double click on it. And DLOOKUP is made up of two key parts. The first part, if I start typing, is called expression. Now that's a complicated way of saying what's the field name. So in this case, the field name is biggest number. And I'll show you why it's called biggest number in a second. Then I put comma in. Domain is the query it's coming from. And again, um, that is called find next biggest number. Now, in the last tutorial, these are the names I used. Notice that I've put those names in quotation marks. That is important. I click on OK. And then you can see underneath that that has generated underneath. I'm then going to go to form view to have a look at this and as you see immediately the next sequentially highest number has appeared. If I type in a name, so Alan Smith maybe, you'll see that actually generates those there. I can then quite simply copy and paste into username to have my generated username. So I'm going to save that, 
and just before we finish the tutorial I'm going to click on this icon here and show you why I use those two names. Now the field name or expression I called biggest number and the reason why is because the field here that I've created is called biggest number. I then called the domain or the query uh, find next biggest number and you can see here that's what I called it. If you remember I, the way I named it or named the field at least is here where it says biggest number colon. That's how I name the field.